Hi, I'm Dusty at Northern Pizza Equipment. I'm here to show you a tip on how to save your store time and money on replacing or inspecting, cleaning, relubricating your bowl seal on your VCM mixers. A leaky bowl seal could cost you thousands. And a simple part is changing a bowl seal. It's really easy. Take you about 15 minutes from the time you take it off to wash it, to relubricate, to install it. And 15 minutes could save you, you know, $2,000 tomorrow. First, what we want to do is we want to remove the bowl seal. So we have your bowl seal wrench. We're just going to turn it to the left. Get that out of the way. And we're going to inspect this. Seems to be okay. The threads are not all gummed up. The inside of the bowl seal seems to be fine. We're going to, we definitely want to check the shaft sleeve to make sure that that does not have any grooves on it. We just want to wash this. Basic soap and water. And we're going to re-lubricate it and install it back in the machine. Okay, so now after we had washed this bowl seal and made sure it is nice and dry, now we're going to have to re-lubricate it to make sure that it does not leak. The lubrication is going to go around this O-ring and also inside this seal. If you forget to lube inside the seal, this will get extremely hot. Grip your shaft sleeve and rip this, rip this apart, which will cause it to be no good. So now we're just going to need a little bit of gel. You just put that right on your finger. Like I said, you could basically eat this out of the tube. It is fine. And then we're going to put just a little bit around this O-ring here. Like that. I'm going to get just a little bit more here. And this is going to go on inside of this seal. Don't be afraid to put too much on there. You don't want to goop it on there, but you want to make sure that it's covered all the way around. That's properly lubricated. So now we're just going to install it back on the machine. Spinning it left will help drop this onto the threads properly so you're not cross-threading these threads. They are plastic. You'll feel a little snap just like that. And then you can get it started with your hand. And once it gets a little harder, just grab your bowl seal wrench. Give it a couple turns till it gets a little tight. Then just a little bit extra. You do not want to screw this down too hard. This will break. It will snap. It will crack. Um, you can tighten it down just a little bit. Throw some water in there. Make sure it doesn't leak. If it does leak, then you can tighten it just a little bit more. But that lubrication on the bottom of that O-ring should help seal that so the water does not get down in there so you don't have to tighten it super tight. So I just showed you how to remove this, inspect it, and re-lubricate it and install it back in your machine. This is extremely important that you do not have a leaking bowl seal. A leaking bowl seal can lead to, lead to motor damage. It leaks right down into the bowl, right into the motor. There's nothing else stopping it. Um, the factory recommends this being done once a, uh, once a day. Um, I recommend you know once a week. But the more you clean it, the more you lubricate it, the longer life you're going to get out of this bowl seal and your machine. We have a full line of tech support service. Um, we stock all these parts in stock. Most of them go out same day shipping. Saves you time, saves you money. We're here to help.